Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, we'll try to build a portable chair. We're going to try to apply all of the engineering design process that we're currently learning in Engineering 1100. Um, good afternoon, everyone. We are building a chair today. We're going to be building it out of this piece of cardboard. Before we begin, we will be placing this piece of cardboard on the floor. We are placing this piece of cardboard on the floor in order to protect the carpet. This is part of our safety protocol. I'm going to draw onto the cardboard um, what we're going to be cutting. It'll be 20 centimeters with 4 centimeters of overlap. We finished six pieces the same size. Now we're going to draw and cut out the sides of the chair. Now I'm going to draw the slots for the components of the chair.
we finished one of these, now we're gonna make another one. Now we have all six pieces. All we have to do is put them together. our final design. Throughout the design we went through an iterative process. We started off with sharp corners and we changed these to be rounded. Number two, we had different sizes of cardboard here and here in width and we decided to make it easier that these would all be the same dimensions so we'd have the same six pieces. This would make it easier for manufacturing and production. Because if you made many chairs, you could make many of the same size pieces. Number three, we started off with two pieces, one on each side. And then in order to make more strength, we added these two pieces in the middle. Number four, we originally had these pieces cut so that they would go slightly under the top and the bottom. And then in order to increase the load bearing of it, we decided to make these pieces hit the floor and the seat. That would allow the load to be distributed onto the floor. Now let's talk about the advantages of the chair. Number one, sustainability. It's made from cardboard, it's reused, and it's a recyclable material. Number two, safety. It has no sharp edges, and it's stable. Number three, simplicity of the design. It's easily made, all the dimensions are the same. Number four, robustness of the design. It's weight bearing. Put my water bottle on it, put a bag on it. put some weight on it with my arm. Very strong. It can easily have a child sit on it during school time. Number five, versatility. You can easily add additions to it to make it more user-friendly. You could add a little compartment on the back so that students could put their books and pencils in it, or a variety of other things are possible with the chair.